This morning I heard a great case. Therapists report that people with hobbies are happier in their lives and therefore happier in their marriages. But playing dominoes on a regular basis became a problem for the couple who came to see me today in divorce court. Divorce court is now in session. I have here before me Carolyn Holly and Trinell Holly. The two of you have been together for 12 years, married for five years. You do not want to be married anymore. Mrs. Holly, you contend that Mr. Holly stole your engagement ring, pawned it, could, and you couldn't get it back, and you are suing him for the value of that ring, which you claim is $3,100. Yes. So before we get there, Ms. Holly, I want you to start out and tell me a little bit about your relationship and how it ended up right here in divorce court. No problem. Um, I originally met Mr. Hawley and I was in junior high, he was in high school through mutual friends. And in the beginning it was good, you know, we built a friendship. We, you know, used to hang out, go to football games, dances. He would tell me about his relationships, you know, I would tell him about mine and stuff I was going through. Um, you know, and that went on for some time until, you know, it became something else. And I want to say my senior year, um, I got really sick. And I ended up going to the doctors. My grandmother took me, and that's when I found out I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, told Mr. Holly, and everything, you know, he told me, don't worry about it, you know, give me time. Um, I'm gonna go to school, I'm gonna find a job. You know, just don't worry about it, he seemed happy. After that, I didn't see Mr. Holly again until, I wanna say I was about six months, I had ran into him. And then after that, I didn't see him again, um, I wanna say until after my son was born. No, 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 no wait a minute, H hang on. You were dating? Yes, we were dating You in were high dating. Mm -hmm. You told him that you were pregnant? Yes. Was he still in high school with you? I mean, was he dodging you in the hall? I mean, well, how, how did you not see him? I was, he was a year older than me. Oh. He was a year older than me. So when I was in 12th grade, he had already, you know, he was out of school. Gotcha. So. And he made himself scarce yeah. after you found out. Now, now no. Mr. Holly, is that true? It's not exactly as that, but yeah, you can say that. You know, I didn't really think the kid was mine for a minute, so I kind of moved out. Now, what made you believe the child wasn't yours? Because, like I say, when I was doing what I was doing, she was also doing what she was doing, and that's not true. when I left, the baby was in someone else's name. So when I came back, you know, I ended up like a man. And but you knew there was a possibility that the yes, child might yes, be yours. Yes, ma'am. But so why wouldn't you just stick around just on? Uh, on that kind of tip. Uh, just, I was nervous, moved on. He you ran know, from the on. DNA test. Mm -hmm. I positioned him a DNA test and he ran from that. I had to call him every day, go by there. It wasn't you know, slightly like that, but It okay. was like that. His mother what was it really like? Uh, I moved on just because I really didn't think it was mine. In my head, mm -hmm. I just didn't have no confidence that the you child was mine. You were hoping it wasn't yours. <laughs> you just not that 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 you also say you that too. Yeah, you can say yours. that too, but you know, people make mistakes and I move on. Okay, now, when did he finally get back into your life? I want to say my son was almost one. When he took the DNA test, you know, he found out it was his. Um, you know, I was upset, but we kind of worked things out for my son's sake. And, you know, um, it was okay for a little while until he started with the cheating and a lot of other things that we dealt with. Now, were you married when he was cheating? Because you've been together for a long time, but only he... married five, five years. Well, he was cheating before we got married. Cheating before marriage. Yes. Now, let me ask you Off something. And on. You're with a guy, you've been friends forever, you get pregnant, he bolts, he doesn't come back. When he does come back, uh, he's cheating on you. What prompted you to say, hmm, he's good husband material, let me go ahead on and marry him? <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't so much as that. Um, you know, I forgave him for a lot of things he did because it wasn't always bad. You know, so I forgave him because I loved him. And at the point of us getting married, I was actually thinking about not dealing with him any longer. And I guess, you know, he asked me and I felt like, you know, maybe if we get married, things will get better. Okay. So, Mr. Holly, why did you ask her to marry you? At the time, I felt like I was ready to settle down. It uh -huh. was things moving up, you know what I mean? We was doing better at the time. Our relationship was coming back to be more friends and more lover, you know what I mean? It was, mm -hmm. it was picking mm -hmm. up and it was looking good at the time, so. I decided to marry her, you know what I mean? I didn't want her to let her go. All right. Leslie, my past was yeah. kind of hard to why don't recover you tell me, the ring. <laughs> Mr. Holly, why don't you tell me what you think started the marriage down the path to divorce? Uh, I would say my past history of, like you say, my cheating mm -hmm. and 
Now, when her you attitude say towards me kind of led me to do other things because I felt she was into the other side of messing with other people. So my guilty conscience also got me trapped into that situation of okay. me doing what I was doing. Did you did you did you cheat on her throughout your relationship, or was there a period of time after you got married that you stopped? Off off and on. You can say that off so and on. So that's throughout. Right. <laughs> What was the longest period of time that you were uh, faithful? Oh, <laughs> I always want to say, okay, about, I was good for about a good four years. Good four years. Doing a good before four the years. Marriage. Before the marriage. Before, no. before the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> before then you the said, marriage. I do it. All bets were before, off. Before the marriage. Okay. Before the marriage. Tell no. me about what happened in Las Vegas. Okay, it was a family vacation. It was my son's birthday. Um, we went, you know, a family trip. I caught him with another woman. I'm you calling his phone. Me. I'm calling his phone. He claimed he was walking up and down the ship looking for me, and his phone died. So he, you know, approached another woman and was asking to use her phone, but the whole while I'm calling him, I'm watching him for my calls. Mr. Hollywood, what no. do you say happened in Vegas? Didn't go down like that, but yes, okay, yes, Vegas trip did happen like that with me with another woman, but you know what I mean? It wasn't nothing like that to be looking at it like that. I was using this other woman for a cell phone for trying to find my wife, you know what I mean? And the girl was just... So I happened to be telling me, you know what I mean? She was telling me, following me along, you know, as I'm using her phone. So that's what she happened. She was telling you. Yeah, she was like telling me around. She was following me around, you know. Tailing. Yeah, tailing. Oh. You know what I mean? No, no. <laughs> Can I say something? Yes. When I approached him and the woman, I asked him, what's going on? I was calling you. I could watch you for And the woman calls. also Stop. told you it was nothing like that. She, I asked her, I said, are you a family member I haven't met? Or, you know, some, because his family was there, you know, we were all there as well. And she says no, and he tells her, you don't have to explain anything to her. So me and him get into an argument. She's there the whole time. I'm like, okay, I'm here with my husband. You can, you can leave now since, he, you know, you're, he's trying to use your phone or whatever the case is. He told her to stay there the whole time. So security comes. We, you know, they have a zero tolerance in Vegas. They tell us to separate. We, me and the kids separate because I didn't want to ruin my son's birthday. He separates with her and leaves, but he's using her phone. You left with that woman? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. You left that woman. No, I did not do that. But I walked off with her for about five inches or so, you know what I mean, just for, to just get away from the situation. That was it, you Mr. know what I mean? Mr. Holly, you didn't play poker while you were in Vegas, did you? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> play some slot Good machine. Good decision. <laughs> he, you know you I mean? have got no bluff, you've got no, you know, fake out. Your face uh, is, is telling on you. It, it was drunk right, as well. You know, like it was an editorial. Could you tell me about the time you found a videotape of him having sex with another woman? Yes. Uh, Mr. Holly was intoxicated, passed out on the couch. I went through his phone. And in his phone was a video of another woman and him, you know, holding the phone out as if he was taking a selfie. Divorce isn't easy. If you need help with your breakup, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mrs. Holly, could you tell me about the time you found a videotape of him having sex with another woman? Yes. Uh, Mr. Holly was intoxicated, passed out on the couch. I went through his phone, and in his phone was a video of another woman and him, you know, holding the phone out as if he was taking a selfie. Now, wait a minute. Now, 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 now. Can you tell it to me in a way that I won't pass out? Yes. <laughs> The woman was giving him service. Got you. Okay. Mr. Holly, can you deny that, or are you, are you just going to just leave it where it is? I don't think that was me in that video. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I can tell you. It's not his I don't think okay. that was me in that video. Okay. I don't think so. It wasn't me, it right? It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I said no. It was not me, Judge. I don't believe that was me. But if it was, I probably was intoxicated, like you said. I don't know, though, but... It wasn't me. Now, now, now Mr. Holly, we've, we've gotten plenty of dirt on you. So I'm going to allow you to tell me what you believe Mrs. Holly has, how you believe Mrs. Holly has contributed to the demise of this well, she, union. As far as uh, the way she dresses, kills me a little bit. She wears this at church sometimes. Uh, no, no, I don't. <laughs> public places, no, family don't. reunions, anywhere. 
I'm like, oh, okay. So she doesn't respect me as a man of me doing things I want to do. She nags too much. She's always mm -hmm. in my brain about me wanting to make a right. She want to be making mad, get mad at me because I want to make a laugh. Okay. You know, so. Why don't you tell me some of the things that she does and says that demonstrate she doesn't respect you as a man? Uh, for instance, punk, sucker. I don't like them words. Uh -huh. I don't like to be used. And she calls you those yes, things? Yes, in front of people, in front of company. I just don't like it. It upsets me, you know what I mean? Do you believe she's ever cheated on you? My heart, yes. In your heart? Yeah. That means you have no evidence. You None just said at it. all. No, <laughs> what? Vi no visual. No visual. No visual. Any, any texts? Any, any, any no. lost time? Any... Uh, well, it was one text, but I can't confirm it, you know? I'm not what? Talk, I can't confirm and it, what? so... It was a text that also said, uh, how you doing, baby? But I don't know if that was a dad or father. <laughs> I never confirmed who that was. What yet. was uh -huh. the number? Because I don't have no idea. I don't remember the number. I bet you don't. But as far as there, I don't have any incidents to say she's cheating on me yet, but... I mean, hey, I mean, she's going out every Saturday, Sunday, Monday, turning up on a Tuesday. Now, know? listen. <laughs> She's got you on video, and you just showing me some shorts. Well, thank you. I don't believe that was you. me yet. You got a big, hulking long over she here. She never you got showed me this video. She the must have deleted this oh, video. Oh, you need to stop. I never Mrs. Seen Holly, let I me tell you something. You. you say that not only is he cheating, but when he's not cheating, he's just plain old a nuisance. He plays dominoes all the time. Like an old man. He, he, tell me about how <laughs> he is when he's at home. I love dominoes. When he's at home, which is, you know, he's in between, so when he's at home, he's just disrespectful. Like, he gets irritated really fast, especially when he's drinking. He has a drinking problem. He'll tell me I'm ugly. You know, he'll tell me, um, you know, when I contemplate leaving him, no other guy will want you. If they do, it's only to use you. He'll try to, you know, put me down, and he's just... He's out of retaliation, to be judge. Out of retaliation for retaliation the Retaliation for what? He's for the fact that she can be around the women? the same words, so I just try to use it towards her to anger her, you know, make her angry. But, but, but what are you retaliating for? I don't mean for? it, but, you know, people say no things reason. when they don't mean when they're angry. That's I work, all. I go to school, I take care of your son. I also I does that, down. too, so... Just things we're not meeting eye to eye with, I guess. You have odd jobs. Just not meeting eye to eye with it. That's all. Uh, are you an active and, 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 and attentive father? Yes. Is he's he? a good father, yeah. He's just a yes. bad husband. A good, good father, but a bad husband. Yeah, <laughs> he's a good father. Yes, you know when this thing ends, as well it should, uh, don't, don't interrupt that relationship. Encourage it. No, you know, never. you're mad at you, you know, I mean, and I don't know, yeah. and I have no sense that you're going to do that. Yeah. But I always like to say that because it's easy to get that all when you're mad yeah. and tumble, you've been used and abused, yeah. and then and, and let that be. Don't, don't, don't mess in that. Yeah. Not that you would, but I'm just putting it out there and make it easy for her to be nice to you. Yes. You know what I mean? Don't don't be a jerk about anything. No. Because you got jerk tendencies. <laughs> yeah, he does. But I also love my kids though, so I don't And they love you. How much did you pay for the ring? Uh thirty we got she it didn't like pay 31, for anything. but I didn't pay for it. She paid for it. But I thought we was together at the time, so we was doing it together, you know. She my backbone, I'm hers. You mean to tell me it made logical sense to you right. that you found a ring in a place you thought it oughtn't be, right. so you would go and lose all of that money to pawn it? If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. So, Mrs. Holly, tell me about the ring that you say Mr. Holly pawned. Okay, me and Mr. Holly at that time were not in a good place. I went to work, I was washing the dishes that night, and I put it, you know, up on top of the microwave. I went to work and forgot to put it back on. When I got home, it wasn't there. So I called Mr. Holly, you know, and let him know. I thought maybe somebody had came into the house or broke into the house because the door wasn't closed all the way. And, you know, stole it. So he came home and he was helping me find it for two days, tearing the house up and down. And um, my mom is kind of good friends with the, you know, the neighborhood pawn shop. So long story short, my mother called me and said, I think your ring is in here. So I come down to the pawn shop and it's in the for sale, um, you know, where they put the, the Yeah, the counter. window in the, in the yes, display. The display. 
And so, um, you know, I asked, I showed them my owner's certificate and everything, and I told them it was my ring, and they were telling me, well, you know, they pulled it up, and his name was on the, the slip. And they said, um, you know, in order for you to get it back, I have to pay $400, because being that me and Mr. Holly are married, they would not just give it back to me. Right. So when I did, you know, save the money, um, I went back, and the ring was gone. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Holly, uh, tell me what happened with the ring. Well, yes, I found it. We were searching for it, and I absolutely found it, but... I felt like she did lost you pawn name. it? Yes, ma'am. Why did you pawn it? Because you know, at the time, I was like, I was careless at the time. I didn't understand why would she lose her ring or act like she lost the ring. Talking about she was washing dishes, but it didn't make any sense because where I found the ring at doesn't look like it was in the dishing area. How much did you pay for the ring? Uh, thirty. We got he her didn't like pay thirty-one, for but I didn't pay for it. She paid for it, but I thought we was together at the time, so we was doing it together. You know, she my backbone, I'm hers. You mean to tell me it made logical sense to you right. that you found a ring in a place you thought it oughtn't be, right. so you would go and lose all of that money to pawn it? I mean, how my much money did to they get give it back? to you? My intentions was to get it back, but my well, money didn't come What was the purpose in. of pawning it? I don't know. I, just, I was broke at the time, so I just decided to get some he change. He had it, it to begin with. He helped me find it when he already had it. No, not true. Okay. Mr. Holly. <sighs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh-uh. It's all over for you. <laughs> it was... Don't ever be a con man. Uh -huh. Don't ever try to play poker. Don't ever do anything that, that requires a lot of thought. Right. <laughs> exactly. He doesn't think. He doesn't think at all. In divorce court, people tell me the most intimate details of their lives. Join the conversation and share your experience on our Twitter page at Divorce Court and on our Facebook page. See how fans deal with their own relationships. The discussion can get heated. Don't miss it. Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mrs. Holly, I want to applaud you for only having one child with this individual over here. You Thank saw you. ridiculous, you saw silly, you saw foolish, and you saw fit not to have another baby with her. Not everybody does that, and applause to you for that. Thank you. I'm gonna applaud her too. Yeah. Now, Mr. Holly, you know, I've already called you all the names that I could think of that would be appropriate to say in a row. Yes, ma'am. So let me beg you to be a better person. Mm -hmm. Let me beg you to, to, to be an example to your kid because children don't do what they tell them to do. They do what they see you doing. If you're running around with this woman, that woman, the other woman, and pawning people's rings and doing all that kind of stuff, yes, your kid will grow up to be trifling and no count. You're going to be bailing them out of jail and all that kind of stuff. You don't want that kind of kid. Yes, be the kind of man you want your son to be. Yes, ma'am. And when you engage in conduct which demonstrates the lack of a moral compass, it destroys their ability to build a moral compass. And you don't want that to happen. Right. So, so you, you were light, you were wrong, you were, you, 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 you were foolish, you lost a good woman. And the only women that are going to put up with that kind of nonsense that you do are the ones that you don't really need. Having said that, I will say this. You took that ring and you pawned it. You had no right to take it. It was her ring. You, uh, I don't, your explanation for it is beyond absurd. Consequently, I will give her $3,100. It is so ordered. Wow. As big of a mess as Carolyn and Trinell were, they did a couple of things right that a lot of people don't do. Number one, when they realized their marriage was a mess, they didn't continue to have children. And number two, even though he didn't have a moral compass, he at least had enough sense to be a good father to his child. Now, he's got to keep it up, though. He can't just tell him the right thing. He's got to show him.